On farmland just outside of Vermillion, you can find a small workshop with a unique story and an owner who hopes to pass along her passion. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Lauren Solik takes you to Four Winds Boat Shop and Woodworking, where canoes and kayaks are much more than just flotation devices. What started as a wilderness canoe trip turned into a new passion for Vermillion resident Don Olson. And I was in Canada and I saw some people making a boat in the museum. It was a canoe museum and I thought that was really neat. So I bought a book and after I read the book a couple times, I thought I'm really gonna, I just have to try it because I just passionate about canoeing and outdoor things in general. Though she didn't have any prior experience and wasn't even sure what tools to use, she persisted in making her own canoe from scratch. It was like a winter long project. I started in the fall and I finished it um, mid-April and I just I was just hooked after that. From there a domino effect began for Olsen. I didn't really realize how much that was going to kind of change the course of my life so I wanted to build other things and I built a kayak and then I thought well you know I see people making snowshoes and then I want to learn how to do that and then I had a friend introduce me to pine needle basket making and then I wanted to do that and then I got to thinking, how can I do this all the time? In 2016, Olson quit her full-time job and dedicated herself to her new craft. That's how Four Winds Boat Shop and Woodcraft came to be. Because I kind of started dabbling with helping other people and t teaching them and showing them what I was doing. And I thought I really had this vision of being able to make this schoolhouse into a place that people would come and learn how to do the things that I enjoy doing. Now she helps other outdoor adventurers craft their own canoes and kayaks. She also holds classes such as intro to woodworking, snowshoe making, and pine needle basket making. Denise Lewis from Madison took one of Olson's woodworking classes, but got inspired when she saw Olson's handmade canoe. Lewis decided she wanted to make one too. So she just gave me the confidence to do it, and um, she has really deep knowledge of woodworking and every tool you could imagine. So, you know, I didn't have all the tools. I didn't have all the space that I would need. I didn't have the know-how, um, but she had all that. So I was willing to travel from Madison down to Vermilion for, I don't know, once or twice a week for about 14 months to finish that canoe, and I'm so glad that I did. Shelly Brunick of Vermilion has a similar story. She was taking a snowshoe making class with Olsen when she saw the handmade kayak. But, but it's fun going out there because she, you know, I've taken other classes from her too. And, you know, she teaches you how to use the power tools and everything. And you go out there and you work and she lets you use all of her tools and everything. And, you know, she teaches you how to use them and then she just lets you go and use all of these different things, and then, um, you know, she helps whenever necessary. For Olsen, building her canoe was much more than just piecing wood together. Through the personal journey of building my own boat, was going through really kind of a difficult time, and I felt like it just kind of breathed new life into me. It, made, it gave me something that I could focus on that would help me kind of sometimes get through the day. She hopes to give that feeling to her clients as well. I think that sometimes people, they just need something like that to kind of bring them back to life. I think we go through different periods in our life where we just kind of feel like we're just adrift and we don't have a purpose and we kind of get discouraged or whatever. A sense of accomplishment. They're just, you know, things that people can do with their hands, which I think we miss a lot right now. And at the same time, it kind of gives you Kind of a, the moral of the story, I guess, is just the sense that, you know, you can you can do a project that you think is, is beyond you or too hard. And the satisfaction of that hard work hitting the water. I think when you put a boat in the water and you hear the, the quiet and the motion of the water and everything, it's just, it's magic for me. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solick. Wow, she's got some talent, doesn't she? The Building Four Winds Boat Shop is housed in and also has a unique story. It's an old country schoolhouse, and you can hear about its history under this story on Kelloland.com.